Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. I've made a evening dress and this a dress with a jacket and a sash. You can also choose to wear the dress with the jacket open and leaving the sash off. And of course you can also wear the dress without the jacket or the sash. The pattern can be downloaded for free and the link to the pattern is in the description field. We take the top of the dress and we will be sewing these two seams together. So you double the fabric at the seam and you sew them together. Now we take the two back parts and we sew onto the front part of the dress. You sew it together here on the side. I'm taking a small ribbon and I'll sew it as a detail along the top side of the dress. I'm taking the same ribbon again and I'll make another detail strip ribbon here. Now I'm taking a bead and I will sew it here exactly in the middle of the dress as a detail. Now we lay the top part aside for now and you'll take a piece of fabric which is 18 centimeter high and 30 centimeter broad. And then you need two pieces which are 20 cm high and 15 cm broad. And you place them onto the other part. And you sew them together on the top side. Now we take these parts of the pattern and I'm taking a strip of lace and I'll sew the lace along the edge of the part. Now we place these parts of the skirt exactly in the middle of where the other skirt parts meet and as you can see we have a little bit extra fabric here so this means that you have to make one or two or a few small folds until you reach from here till here now we take these parts of the pattern and again the same lace and also here I'll sew the lace as a detail along the edge. Now we can sew these parts onto the dress and also with these parts you align them in the middle of the front like this and also here you have a bit of extra fabric so you have to make a few folds here and there, so you reach your other side again. As you can see, all the layers fabric it gets pretty thick now. If you don't like it, you can choose to make these parts smaller. And you have to make them as broad as this one, and you won't have a very thick layers of fabric here. 
So it's up to you if you want to make them thick or thinner. Now, the square part is now done. So we can take back the dress part, the top of it. And you line them on one side. And also here I'll be making on the seam a bigger fold. And you need to make sure that the middle of the skirt is in the middle of the dress. And also here I'll make a bigger fold until you reach the other side of the skirt. Now we can start sewing the back parts of the dress together. And you have to do it by layer. So first we'll sew the lowest layer together. Then the second one. The third one. And as last but not least, the small part and a little bit of the dress itself. But this needs to stay open, otherwise the dress won't fit over the hips of the doll. I'm taking the same ribbon as I've used on top of the dress and I'll sew it here exactly at the seam where the top part and skirt part of the dress match. And I'll sew it all the way around. Now we've made a ribbon, a long part on the front, and I'll sew this one here exactly in the middle, and I'll cut off the ribbons just at the bottom of the dress. The only thing left to do now is to velcro snub buds onto the back of your dress, and your dress is done. For the jacket, we start with sewing the two front parts onto the back part. So. And sew them together here on the side and on top where the shoulder is. Now we take the collar part and join them on one side of the top and you sew it together until you reach the other side now I'm taking a small ribbon and I will sew it as a detail on the top of your collar now we take the sleeve and you double it and you sew it together. Turn the sleeves with the goose out of the fabric on the outside. Now we can sew them into the jacket. Place the sleeve through the hole and you align the seam of the jacket with the seam of the sleeve. And you sew them together all the way around. Now I'm sewing a bead here at the bottom of the jacket and I'll do the same on this side of the jacket and we'll also sew a few small beads here which will represent the buttons. Now you can add a velcro or snap button here on the collar part and your jacket is done. For the sash I'm using a piece of fake fur which is 23 cm long and 2 cm broad. 